All right. Manabu. You can sing it out long out there. It's on your song sheet. Manabu. How beautiful. The one who brings good news. And a great song for Pesach. Thank you, Lord, for the blessing of tonight. Yeshua, announcing Yeshua. All right, what a blessing. Way to go, guys. Good dance out there. And when Yeshua took bread, it wasn't wonder bread, <laughs> you know? I mean, that's all chametz. It was matzah. It was matzah for sure. And it says that he took some, and after he said a blessing, he broke it. And he said... This, for my disciples, if you're, you're with me, this represents my body to be broken for you. And it's even, I think, predicted in the scriptures, everything's in the Tanakh. Back to Isaiah 53, what we've been talking about this evening. And he says something very interesting, the prophet does. He says... The servant, his grave will be given with the wicked, and he will be buried with the rich man in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was there any deceit in his mouth, yet it pleased Adonai to bruise this servant. He caused him to suffer. If he makes his soul a guilt offering, he will see his offspring. This servant will prolong his days. And if, if you can track with me on this, I think it's such an interesting prediction because the Afikoan, again, we Jews know, oh yeah, you, you break it, you wrap it, you bury it, so to speak, it's hidden away, it comes back, and it's just, that's just part of Seder. But if we look at Isaiah, he says that the servant will be buried, and even that unusual detail with a rich man. You know, uh, if you've read the Gospels, you know that's exactly what happened, that, that uh, Yeshua executed by the Romans, and we sometimes forget it was a very religious Orthodox Jew who asked for the body of Yeshua, Joseph of Arimathea. Remember hearing about him? And this guy, I mean, he was a, a rabbi. So it also reminds us tonight that, you know, it's, it's been some bad rumors out there that, oh, no Jews believe in Jesus, right? Well, I guess we're here tonight to say there are thousands, certainly. I, I, I don't know how many hundreds and hundreds and hundreds in San Diego, Jews, brought up Jews, Orthodox, conservative, secular, whatever background, who believe in Yeshua. Amen? If you're, especially if you're one of those Jews here tonight, you could say double amen, right? Joseph. Yosef. Ramitai. Amitai, the, from, from a village in Israel, took the body. 
Buried in a rich man's tomb, it says. Very interesting prediction. And yet he will see his offspring. He will prolong his days. So in other words, even though this servant suffers and dies, as we've read, he's going to see his offspring. He's, I mean, he's got to come back somehow. The resurrection of the dead. One of the key proofs when King Messiah is here, somehow, mysteriously, he'll die. He'll die for a holy purpose of paying for the sins of Israel, the sins of the whole world. But to prove that that payment was adequate, he'll be risen again. He will see his descendants. Just what this afikoman symbolizes, hidden away. We have our nice Seder. He comes back. <laughs> it's so perfect, isn't it, for this weekend of holidays? Uh, hang on to the afikoman still and make sure you have the third cup of redemption filled. So you have a little bit of wine, grape juice. Pass that around if you need to. We'll tie these together. Way people say, "Well, Lord's Supper, we do that every week. Lord's Supper, we do it every other day." It's a, well, I think the supper for the Lord is the seder. Myself, I mean, it, you know, we we have a tradition of celebrating it at the seder here. It's not like every week, but man, when we celebrate it, this is deep. I mean, this is the original context of what the Christian world celebrates so often. So we're going to partake of these elements tonight. And I know we have a mixed multitude and, you know, many of you are members of our synagogue and you somehow came <laughs> to your faith in Yeshua. Um, some of you are friends invited. Some of you don't know what the heck you came to tonight. Uh, you just, you're here, but... You know, I think it's, there's no coincidences. I think we're all here for a purpose. And to consider the gift that God has given. And the, the strangest thing, it's a Jewish gift. A lot, a lot of us Jews kind of kept arm's length because we thought it's, I mean, it's not for me, you know, not part of Judaism. But a lot of us in this room have found different. Amen. Yeshua completes our faith as Jews, as he himself said. Completes, not of abolishing anything. So I'm going to lead us in a prayer. And again, this is very personal between you and God. I, no pressure on anyone. If you just want to take this as the afikoman, say, I, that's all it is to me, then that's between you and God, no, no problem. But I do want to give us all an opportunity to really focus on where we're at with God tonight on Passover and draw closer to him. So as we hold these elements, let's pray together. Avinu, Father in heaven, we thank you so much for this Passover evening, the second night, Pesach. Many of us brought up Jewish, and we've done a lot of seders over the years. But Lord, uh, many of us in this room have come to see some deeper spiritualism in this meal. Many of us have come to see Yeshua as your son, the one sent from the God of Israel. Non-Jews here tonight, intermarried families here tonight, skeptics maybe here tonight. But Lord, in these holy moments of Passover, may we listen deeply to what you might be saying. As we contemplate this matzah, this afikoman, what a beautiful picture the unleavened Messiah, broken for us, taking our sins so we don't have to pay for them. We are so thankful for that tonight, Lord. Help those of us who already believe to be stronger, 
to go farther in this journey with Yeshua. And Lord, if there's someone here tonight that's just not sure, and maybe you know that you, you're not a believer in God or Yeshua, um, even the Afikoman, maybe just some fresh thoughts on that. Lord, you know each and every one of us. May we just see your hand reaching out to us through the Afikoman. We partake of this matzah in remembrance of Yeshua and with thanksgiving. You may partake of the matzah. Yeshua, I'm 